Hey everyone, welcome to another video tutorial from Creati. Today we're working with the web builder Wix. I'm going to be adding some Lottie animations to this template. Um, pretty basic, so we're going to add some motion to this section. Uh, the first step is the finding an animation to work with. We're going to search Lottie animations by collection in the Creati library. And we'll be working with a new collection called Designing an App. It has some cool marketing designs, uh, perfect for an agency. going to do sign up. Perfect animation to put in a contact form. All right, on the product page, we have a couple of customization options. We can keep it as a static design or an animation, and we can change some colors. We're going to actually darken this up and a little dark blue. Okay, looks good. You can also grab the code directly from your website so your colors are matching. This looks pretty good. Um, Wix doesn't allow us to add a JSON file, so we will be embedding using the code snippet provided by Creati. Once the editor pops up, we can make some adjustments. We can change the size of the animation, delay, speed, and the trigger. Um, we're just gonna bring this speed down to 50%. You can see in the code, the value changes to 50. And once we're ready, we will copy and then head into Wix. Let's edit our site. All right, now we're in the Wix editor. We're going to add an animation to this section. Um, let's make this little bigger and bring this down oops there we go just so we have some room to put in our code okay now we're going to add an element Click Embed Code, Embedded HTML, and all we have to do is paste in our code snippet. Click Update. There it is, and it's gonna be way too big. But we'll make that change without having to go back into Creati. Just lost it. There it is. Okay, we wanna make sure that our animation is sized right, or else you'll get these scroll um, icons and they will render on your web page. So you want to make sure you're zoomed out enough to where they disappear. And let's make this a little bit smaller. We can do it directly from the code. Let's change the width to 300. And let's change the animation trigger for the fun of it. Loop on hover update. That's better. There we go. Perfect. And now you can see it's, the animation loop isn't running. Um, you'll have to hover over it and I'll show you in the browser. Save. There it is. And you can see when you hover we 
get the animation loop and it's running at 50 percent yeah the section looks much better um, the text was pretty boring we add an animation you get a little more interactivity and hopefully people will stop and send you a message um, thanks for watching another creative tutorial stay tuned for more thank you bye